Now that we have threaded the machine um, with the, we threaded the top of the machine and brought it down through the needle and we've brought the bobbin thread up and we have the two threads going out the back. I switched out to white. Uh, we were doing blue before. Push them both out to the back. The upper thread needs to go through the foot and out the back. So then it's time to take a scrap piece of fabric. These are all my little tests that I've gone through for different reasons. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna test it. So you bring the fabric over to the presser foot, lower it using the lever in the back. There's a lever that goes, allows you to go up and down. First thing, lower the needle down into the fabric. Check your controls, make sure it's set for straight stitch. That's what we're gonna test on. And I wanna go to a number three. That's the size stitch I wanna do. Don't move any of these um, controls if the needle's down. I should have done that check first before I did this, but the length is okay to do. So then you're gonna you step on the um, foot pedal to go forward. And then we can stop. Now if you want to go in reverse, you would raise this up and bring the black tab up to the three. And then you could again step on the foot pedal and it will go backwards. Now sometimes as you're going, you could hear the motor going but the needle didn't go right away. Sometimes it needs a little bit of help. I'm gonna go back forward, put it back on a three, and we'll try it one more time and see if it does that again. Nope, it doesn't. Sometimes you just need to give it a little twist and it'll start. But uh, that time it's good. So now, oh, let's switch it to a zigzag. With the needle up, I can change this, loosen the lock here, move it over, we'll go to a three, and lock it back. Then we will start again. There, needs a little. And then we're at the end of the fabric. So then turn the hand wheel towards you until the take up lever is at its highest position. The needle, of course, at that point is way out of the fabric. Lift the lever in the back. And I like to pinch the, um, the fabric at the last few stitches to pull it out so that it doesn't pull the stitches. Then I can take scissors and cut it off. Then we can look at our, our work. And that would be this white line. It looks pretty good. We flip it over. And that's this one. It looks pretty good too. So we're ready to start sewing our project.